Hello guys, welcome back to another Android material design tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to working with Android material color patterns. Create a new project in Android Studio and this project uses some material color patterns. Now we are going to customize these material color patterns. So open up the resource file and open up the values folder and open colors.xml and here is the material color names color primary color primary dark and color accent now we are going to customize these material color patterns so first we have to get some color themes and color codes so open your browser and search for android material color and go to this website from this website, you can get an appropriate color pattern for your Android application. From here, you have to select two color. First one is the primary color and second one is a secondary color. Here I am going to select red as the primary color and pink as the secondary color. So the first color is color primary. That means the background color of the toolbar. So we have to select a color from the primary color and you have to select the 500 tint color of the primary as the background color of the toolbar so I copy this color code and paste it here now we have to select a color for the status bar that means color primary dark and you have to select the 700 tint color of the primary color as the background of the status bar. So I copy this color code and paste it here. Now we have to select an accent color. We have to select a color from the secondary color. So here I am going to select the 500 tint of the secondary color. I copy this pink color and put it here. Now here I am going to add another color attribute with the name window background. Now select some color from the primary color. Here I am going to select the 200 tint color for the background copy this one and put it here now what another color attribute with the name navigation bar color now select a color for navigation bar we have to select some dark color so I select the 900 tint of the primary color copy this one and put it here now go to activity main.xml and here the color is changed okay now we need to avoid the default action bar because the action bar is deprecated instead of action bar we are going to add a toolbar so first we have to avoid the default action bar so open up the styles.xml and here is the current theme of the application there is a dark action bar is available and instead of action bar we have to use no action bar we simply avoid the default action bar from the layout now the action bar is gone now instead of action bar we have to add a toolbar so create a new layout file right click the layout file and create a new layout resource file with the name toolbar background and we have to specify a root element and here I select toolbar as root element for getting support from pre lollipop devices you have to select the toolbar with get from v7 support library now here we have a toolbar available on this layout Now we have to select the background color for the toolbar. Uh, before that, we have to change the height into wrap content. Wrap content. 
Now specify the background for the toolbar. Android background. Uh, from color and the background is color primary. Okay, now we have a toolbar available on this layout. Put some elevation for the toolbar, Android elevation for DP. Okay, now go to the activity main.xml. We have to add the toolbar into this layout. Here is a text view is available. I remove the text view. First, we have to avoid all this padding. Remove all this padding. Now include the toolbar here. So include. First specify an ID for this new element. Android ID plus ID. Name it as toolbar. Now specify the layout. The layout is the layout is toolbar background. Select that layout. Okay, now here a toolbar is available on this activity main.xml file. Now go to the Java file corresponding to this activity main activity.java. First create an object of toolbar. I name it as toolbar. Now initialize that particular variable toolbar equal to find view by id r dot id dot toolbar and typecast this one into toolbar. Now set this toolbar as the supported action bar. So call this method set support action bar and pass the toolbar object. Okay. So now we can test this application. Okay, run this application. And here I am going to run this application on a lollipop device, on a lollipop Jenny Motion virtual device. Okay, now the application available on a Lollipop virtual device. It is working fine on this Lollipop device. So here I'm going to add some additional view component into the activity main.xml file. Here I'm going to add some additional view items. Okay, here I add some additional view components into this layout and test it again. Select the same virtual device. Okay, now here is the status bar color that, is, that means the color primary dark and here is the color primary that is the background color of the toolbar and here is the accent color. We select some pink color as the accent color. Okay, now we are going to customize the background color and the toolbar, sorry, navigation bar color on lollipop devices. For that, we have to create some additional styles.xml file. So right click the values file and create a new value resource file and name it as styles.xml and change the directory name into v21 that means this directory is available for android api level 21 and above and click ok. Now we have to add some style attributes into this newly created resource file. So before that we have to change something on the styles.xml. And here is the application style name app, app theme. So here I am going to add some additional style attribute. Close that style. Specify some name for the newly created style. I name it as my theme. Okay, and here I am going to change this one into my theme dot base. And here I inherit that one my theme dot base. Okay, now we have to make some modification inside the manifest file. So open the manifest folder and 
open and load manifest to the XML. Of course, here we get some error because we change the application theme identifier. Instead of our theme, we have to use my theme. Okay. Now go to activity main.xml of course it is all altered so here i'm going to change the theme into something called a material light okay that's fine now go to the newly created styles.xml and here we have to add some new styles add some style attribute and close that style attribute and specify some style name the style name is my theme and specify some parent my theme dot base okay here i'm going to customize the background color of the application on android lollipop devices also we are going to customize the navigation bar color so add some item with the name android window background here for api level 21 and above you have to use the android annotation but inside the normal styles to xml there is no need of android annotation that is very important otherwise it will not work so here you have to add the android annotation and now we have to select the window background for the android lollipop devices so we have to select the color from the colors to xml we already add some color attribute for window background okay and now we have to add some color for the navigation bar item name equal to android uh, navigation bar color and select color for the navigation bar from colors to xml navigation bar color okay now go to activity menu xml there is nothing changed here we have to run this application okay now the application available on a lollipop virtual device we customize everything we customize the status bar we customize the toolbar we customize the background color of the application also we customize the navigation bar color okay now try, try to run this application on a pre lollipop device run this application again and select a pre lollipop device for point one click ok now this is a pre lollipop device now the same application available on a lollipop virtual device and a pre lollipop virtual device on lollipop platform we customize the background color we customize the navigation bar color but here we only customize the color of the toolbar nothing changed here I hope you understand the concepts. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.